making your day. Soda City Live starts right now. Soda City Live, everyone, we still are joined by our guest host today, James Patrick. And it's still Be Well Wednesday. It's still Be Well Wednesday. <laughs> yes, James. So what are we getting into today? Well, today we're just going to talk about movement and the importance of it when you are about to gouge inside of a lot of food. Okay? Yeah. It's so important to keep movement going before and after because our bodies are always able to burn food. We're always able to metabolize as long as we're using our food for the right purposes. Well, you know what, James? Uh, for people who have not had the pleasure of tuning into our show, maybe some guests are visiting Columbia for the first time. James is a fitness instructor yes. by trade. Like, yeah. that's what you naturally do. Yeah. And I know that you always just have the passion and you're always quick on your feet to hold a class anywhere. So, you know what? I'm gonna let James take it away. Well, let's there do we it. go. Oh my gosh. All righty. <laughs> that we continue moving. So what we're going to do for 60 seconds, guys, we're going to do 60 seconds of movement. Now, what we want to what you want to keep incorporate is your full body. We want to think four limb movements, and we're going to think really big. So what I want you to do is get up wherever you are, unless you're driving, which you should this be is my in the first place. We're going to take 60 seconds. We're going to go through a circuit of three different movements using our arms and our legs, okay? We're going to set the timer right now, and we're going to start moving really big. This is my car. Why are these movements yes. First off, movement makes us happy. Movement makes your body happy. We're going to keep this going for a few more seconds, and we're going to go into a second move, which is going to have us reach low. We're going to reach low and tap back. These really big movements also create more circulation. That helps to increase the endorphins in your brain, makes your brain happy. We know that depression tends to onset more so toward the fall and winter months, and so that's why it's so important to keep exercise in the forefront. We got three more seconds here. This is our second move. And our third move, we're gonna do a knee tap. We're just gonna go into a knee tap. We're gonna go into that first move in just 10 more seconds. We should be halfway through that timer by now. And your heart rate may be elevating. I know mine is. We're gonna do three, two, and one. We're gonna go right back to those, that first movement. Nice job. Keep it going. And I want you to breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. You're gonna be so much more surprised to see how well your food is able to digest after you have moved your body. All right, we got three more. I see you over there, Brian. Let's keep it going. Two and one. We're going to skip right over to those high knees, and you can make this move whatever you want to. This is a builder move. So remember, you can use this move for whatever you want to and start here and build on to it. We're going to go for six, five, core in, four, three, and two, and one. Nice job. Jog it out or march in place. Nice job. In through the nose and out of the mouth, in through the nose, and out of the mouth. Great way to control your breathing. Keep it going. All right, we got 10 more seconds on this walk. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job, breathe in and out. Oh, wow. Right. <laughs> James, that was amazing. Give Thanks, me five, we're gonna do a good hand clap. Matter of fact, I'm gonna turn your mic on really quick because I think that it went off doing all of those great all exercises. Yeah, but while I'm doing this, this is live TV, guys. This is what we do. As I'm doing this, James, is this something you said that you can do even before you eat and afterwards as well, right? Absolutely. Movement is important before and after. It's not, of course, we want to lay down and let that food digest, but you need to move a little bit to get that food breaking down the way it should be. Yeah, and if people missed our exercise segment last week, you told us how we can use like household items like yeah. barbecue sauce bottles and what pots, pans, different That's things that you can softener. do. Fabric softener. Y'all have to watch those seconds. You gotta again. watch it. It's really good. Any other advice for things that you should do after <laughs> stuffing yourself? After tomorrow? stuffing yourself <laughs> unmercifully, continue to have a good time. Yeah. Be surrounded by family and friends. Find something to be grateful about because there's so much going on in and around us. It's just so important that we immerse ourselves in that love. I tell you, love heals things inside and outside of us that yes. nothing else can. And James, uh, I know that we always look forward to stuffing ourselves <laughs> on Thanksgiving, but you have always given us the advice 
to not do that. Yeah, well, you know, moderation is key, mm -hmm. and you can have everything you want tomorrow in smaller amounts. Just keep in mind, the food isn't going anywhere. Yeah. Okay, have a, have <laughs> a little bit of this and a little bit of that, and continue to eat in moderation, and you'll find you won't be so miserable post-meal. Yes, well, that is good information Thank and you. advice, as always, Thank my you. friend. We're going to take a quick break. Much more with James and I after this.